Hi there. Welcome to the Minute webinar for us to meet the new generation of Minute, the sensor that can work both indoors and outside your short-term rental property. My name is Hannah and I'm on the sales team here at Minute and I work within the Asia Pacific region. So for anybody that's completely new to Minute, I'll be happy to uh, go over some of the features today and we'll talk about uh, the changes that have come with the new generation um, and what you can expect with Minute in your short-term rental property. So first of all, Minute can detect noise in the home. So if it has been noisy, you will get a notification um, to your phone or also directly to your guests. Um, to say it, that it has been noisy for the past uh, uh, piece of time, uh, depending on what you set as your threshold, anywhere between five or 15 minutes is what we normally recommend. And uh, you'll be alerted if your guests are having a party. Um, the minute can also tell you uh, the temperature inside the home. So you'll get a notification um, if the temperature has gone above or below the thresholds that you set. Uh, within your settings. Um, you can make sure that your guests are comfortable within the home and also uh, you can just make sure that the heating system that you have in the home is working as it should. Um, also, Minute can detect motion in the home. It has an infrared body temperature detector so it can pick up if the home is occupied through motion. Um, it's very accurate as well because it will not pick up inanimate objects or anything like that because it is based on body temperature. So very accurate to know if there is actually a person or people in that home or not. Helpful when you want to make sure uh, guests have checked in and out uh, successfully. Also, if cleaning staff have come, if they've gone. Um, and also, it's also useful if you have a vacant home for any reason, um, maybe a seasonal home or um, you know free during the weekends, weekdays potentially. Um, you can make sure the home is in fact empty when it should be and vice versa. So apart from noise monitoring and also uh, motion detection and temperature, which we've already mentioned. Minute can also tell you about occupancy within the home. And what we mean by that is that it can pick up up Bluetooth available devices in the home. So for example, iPhones, Apple Watch, AirPods, um, laptops, all those things uh, emit a Bluetooth signal and it can be picked up by the Minute device. The idea is not for this to accurately count the amount of people in the home because you know, we can only give an average of the amount of devices any individual would bring. But what it can give you a very clear picture on is if there is a lot of people gathering um, because more devices will obviously arrive. So it can help with the uh, noise monitoring or anticipation for noise potentially, um, because you can see when the people check in initially how much um, devices they might bring. And then if there's more that arrive at a later stage, you could maybe um, make sense of that as more people are arriving, noise might be uh, quickly to follow. Um, so it is very useful information for over occupancy, also uh, anticipating potentially parties or noise coming as well. Um, the device also has tamper detection. So that means that the device, if it's lifted off of its mounting plate for any reason, you get notified. Um, could be a good time to talk about installation of Minute here. So it goes in your communal living areas, most likely. That's where the noise will be uh, most likely to be generated inside. And it is installed with a, you don't need any tools or help or assistance, potentially a chair to stand on maybe, um, because you peel back the sticker on the device, place that on the magnetic, you peel back the sticker on the magnetic plate, place the plate on the ceiling, and then attach the device to the magnetic plate via the magnet. Very, very simple. And then for outdoors, um, it's the same. You can place it outdoors somewhere that's like within reach of the Wi-Fi to reach it, of course, because that's the only thing that Minute actually needs to, to work. Um, and then you can put it on balcony areas, uh, pool areas, um, you know, whatever is relevant, barbecue areas, um, patios, that kind of thing. Um, and the battery life, it's a rechargeable battery that lasts for over a year. 
Um, and you do also have the option to leave it plugged in if you prefer. It's just if it was ever plugged out, it will last for a year um, on average. So it doesn't necessarily matter if you have like multiple, multiple homes and you would prefer to leave these plugged in so you never have to charge them. Completely an option. Um, it's just designed to be a freestanding battery operated device that sits in the ceiling. Um, but you can make moder modifications to like the length of the cable or where you install it if you wish to leave it plugged in. So just to mention it is an option and it doesn't ma matter what its functionality necessarily. Um, the only thing would be that there is a preference for it to be on the ceiling rather than, for example, a wall or something else, only because that's how the motion detection would work. Uh, it's done by somebody the person, the body that it's uh, picking up on the body temperature to pass underneath or within the radius of the of the device. Um, and if it's on the wall, it won't work effectively for that. But that's only for the motion detection for basically all other um, features. The positioning is basically not that important, but also putting it on the ceiling keeps it completely out of reach and out of mind and out of sight for for guests for potential tamper detection or tamper instances. But it's very unlikely we don't get that very often but it's just a thing if it's uh not really within reach and stuff it's probably less likely to be touched and also if it is touched in any way you get a notification for tampering of course um so just to cover that um the outdoor mode we have gone over that so when you get your devices you just select on the app if whether you want it to place uh, outdoor or indoors um the device is the same we don't have any like you know, two devices with one device um, and it can be placed either or. So the casing is designed to withstand the weather, but also perfectly fine for inside as well. Um, so alarm recognition, a very cool feature that can recognize your fire alarm um, in the home and let you know the fire alarm's going off. So it's not a fire alarm itself. Um, it can detect your fire alarm going off. That's the idea. Uh, obviously useful if you have guests because um, you can make sure everything's fine and there's no uh, danger. And then also, if you don't have guests, it's equally as useful because then there would potentially be no one to hear the fire alarm. So you can rely on Minute for that, which is uh, a great peace of mind. Um, temperature we have talked about, but the Minute can track the temperature and give you uh, notifications if the temperature rises to a certain level and likewise if it drops to a certain level um, and then also very exciting new feature that's coming very soon but I don't have a date yet but very soon if you keep an eye on our marketing emails you'll get uh, uh, up to date um, you know notifications on when the cigarette smoke detection should be released but yes there is cigarette smoke detection coming um, and that will be um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks slash months slash weeks let's see um so yeah you can just see if anybody is not uh going by the rules and potentially smoking cigarettes inside um the monitoring okay so monitoring outdoor noise um very often uh this is why we created the outdoor uh version of the sensor um outdoor noise can be more problematic for neighbors obviously it's different for every property manager and their their homes but um the outdoor noise can travel further and um, disturb neighbors potentially more. So uh, that is why we've come up with the, the new generation that's available now. So yeah, also to clear up any sensor that you purchase now from the website or from, you know, the sales team will all be the new generation. Um, we have phased out Gen 2 totally. So that's all the new generation. Anything that you order now, you will get this one um outdoor mode then it is very cool and i suppose these are the main uh uh updates and changes compared to the last uh generation and it is just that it is now um designed for also outdoor noise which means that there is audio id um which filters out flaw false po positives because outside there is more environmental noise or just maybe different environmental noise you know um traffic and wind and things like this. And the audio ID is uh, going to filter out these noises that are not going to be important for what uh, you will want to um, actually track uh, with, de with your decibels. Um, so yeah, it will focus more on the, for example, music or voices or whatever that is unusual about the environment and filter out uh, what is mostly there always, which would be you know traffic, wind, weather, these types of things. So it's um, 
a very smart and intuitive tool. Um, also temperature and humidity um, is another uh, thing you can also um, capture from outside. And then also a thing to note here is that um, it's the only sensor on the market that works natively outdoors. So it's a standalone device, no need for any add-ons or extra sensors. You don't need to have one inside to have one outside. Like you can just get one completely just for an outdoor area if that is your only problem area. Um, so that's just uh, a point to make as well. Um, so yeah, we have found that noise issues within 20 minutes is what we're finding is our, um, our uh, average and the average annual cost of damage caused by parties in vacation rentals is $1,200, which is uh, literally crazy. So for the cost of your minute device compared to the cost of the annual average cost of damages, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. Um, so we also have a case study here from a New Zealand host who um, is getting help from Minute to get the right types of guests to his holiday destination rental. So um, the property manager client's issue is that the property owner felt uneasy about the possibility of guests hosting a party and damaging the home, of course. Um, then the Minute solution helps with noise detection and tampering notifications to ensure the property is in safe hands. So noise detection, it will tell the host uh, if there is noise, an elevated level of noise coming from the home. And then the tampering notifications will be the host um, can rest easy and have peace of mind knowing that nothing's going to happen to the minute device without notifying him or her. Um, so it is monitoring, it is looking after it on their behalf and they don't actually need to worry about it unless they get notified to say that it is something happening. Um, and then the results said Minute has worked great for us. The agreements used by the managers make it clear there is noise monitoring equipment and that it seems to discourage most of those wanting to party. So Minute will encourage the right type of guests to book your listing and discourage the party intenders. <laughs> um, so that's also, you know, a double-edged uh, benefit um, that if you do, in fact, get the booking that has um, that has somebody that intends to party, they should be deterred by you listing on your listing information that there is um, a minute in this home. And then also if there is somebody that slips through the cracks and books it anyway, you are safe in minutes hands knowing that if there is uh, something happening you'll be alerted and also so will your guest okay so this is another new zealand host um we would not have contemplated turning this property into a short-term rental without our experience with minute and the property could easily become a party central without minute given the likely market okay so just playing um home the previous thought that you know you can have more safety with renting out your homes on short-term rental with minute inside it because it's literally going to give you peace of mind that the people booking it don't have bad intentions and if they do or try to then uh you'll know before it gets out of hand um so we have a lot of partners in the industry that we are integrated with and working with um on the ota side we work with airbnb which means that if airbnb is the platform that you use for all your bookings, you can integrate with the system. Um, and that means that all the bookings can be communicated uh, to the relevant minute home. And then when there's a noise or any other type of alert, the guests can directly receive that notification without uh, you guys, the property managers, having to do actually anything, which is really, really handy. Um, and also uh, the same idea on the property management system side. Uh, if you use multiple uh, OTAs or booking channels, then you can use your property management system integration to make sure that your guest, no matter where they book from, will receive the um, guest communication and notifications to um directly and automatically without you guys having to do anything on that night um, and there will be a log of everything and minute pays for the text and the phone calls that are sent so first of all there will be a text message sent but this actually the order of these being sent 
is completely customizable by you, the property manager. So you can decide if you want to do a phone call initially, like straight off the bat, like cut the could nip it in the bud straight away or if you want to send a text first and then you know most of the time they do respond to that and bring down the um the noise but if they're not seeing their phone then uh it can be sent as a text message um in whatever language you prefer and whatever message you want to deliver and then likewise a call can be sent it's a bot call so it's uh somebody calling out like a bot calling out the message you want to send and in whatever language you want as well um, and then likewise for the third step, it can be the call and text again, or it can be whatever you prefer, but that's the most likely. And then also the device, if you wish, totally um, optional, the device can light up and make a noise and that, that feature is called flash and sound. So um, you have options on how you want to de-escalate anything and what you want to happen and in what order. Um, and then on the smart lock side, we have uh, integrations with Igloo Home and Nuki so far. Um, a lot more to come and also a lot more to come on the PMS uh, side of things. And basically what happens with the smart locks integration is that we can send your guests because of the PMS integration um, or Airbnb integration, we can send the guest the code for the smart lock to enter the home uh, prior to their arrival. Um, so it's all very seamless and all works together in kind of one um, centralized system, which is the goal. And then on the thermostat side, we are working with Tado as a remote uh, control um, option for you to be able to turn off uh, HVAC or AC uh, systems remotely to save on electricity bills. Um, so that's the end of the presentation. I hope that somebody, um, or I hope something was useful for um, people, whether it was, you know, your first uh, introduction to Minute or if you're already a Minute user and um, it's just a bit of a recap and a uh, update on what's new here. Um, my email is obviously on the slide here and I am on the sales team as I said so if you guys have any extra questions or any un, um, unanswered uh, questions from the presentation please don't hesitate to contact me. Likewise I'd be happy to give you guys like a one-on-one uh, -on -one demo of the of the platform and how it would apply to your business specifically so feel free to reach out um with anything at all and i'd be really looking forward to um hearing back from you and thank you for your time and speak to you soon